So the new Lollipop security takes off the accessibility options you have here. So how are you going to bypass the Google Verification Lock? I'll show you how to do this and more in this video. So today we'll be working on a Samsung Galaxy Grand Prime. 3531H to be exact. So it may seem as though Lollipop released an update on September 2016. Yes, Samsung released a security patch on Lollipop. So this security patch disables the accessibility options from the main menu. For those who were unaware, there was an exploit created whereas you can access the phone settings through accessibility and from there you can do a factory set from within the phone. But with the new updated security patch which Samsung released for the Lollipop, that exploit has been patched. So I'm just showing you that the phone is actually Google locked. So as we wait, just take a moment to smash that like button and click on the red one if you're new to my channel. And if you'd like to see more videos, tips and tricks for your smartphone and PC. I'll also be doing reviews on some new upcoming gadgets but I need your support. I also do remote FRP bypassing and also network unlocking so message me on social media if you would like more information on that. So as you can see the device is Google locked that screen we hate but it's still basically easy to bypass the Google verification with a method I found out about a while back bypassing the Google account on the Samsung S7 Edge. You can go watch that video if you like, I'll leave a link in the description. So just follow this method and you'll have full access to your phone. So we'll be doing a Wi-Fi pull method. So you either would need a cell phone with a data plan to tether your Wi-Fi or you'll need to be close to your Wi-Fi router. While connecting, as soon as you see software updating on your Samsung phone, turn off the Wi-Fi. Now you have to do this quick, sometimes you'll get it on the first try or sometimes the second. Just try to be quick when you're doing it. So make sure to enable a pattern lock. Anything will do as long as you can remember it. Now the importance of the pattern lock is so that you can get the emergency call options. So you can just go back, press the lock button twice and you'll see the emergency call tab. Just slide it and place an emergency call. Now a lot of people said they couldn't access messages or the internet connection. But the important part is making sure the 911 call is connected. The call needs to be answered. Then you'll get the options needed. Depending on where you live, it would be an automated operator. But in the case or scenario that an emergency service does really answer your phone, you can just tell them that your phone has given trouble or problems. It actually is, you're not lying. Just make sure to disconnect the call once it's answered. Now just follow what I do on screen.
to make sure that you reactivate your internet connection, whether it be with a data plan or a Wi-Fi router. Now go to this URL for the file needed to update your account manager. Make sure and keep tapping download until you see that little download message at the bottom of the screen. Now go to this URL for the app needed to do the bypass. Once both files are downloaded, you can press open at the bottom of the screen. Now make sure and install the 5.0 Google Manager first before you install the FRP Bypass app because the FRP Bypass app will not work. I'll just make a demonstration. As you can see, it does not work. So install the 5.0 Google Manager. And then go back and launch the FRP Bypass app. Now go to the top right corner and choose browser sign in and you can add whatever Google account you would like and just press sign in. Now you can just go back to the main menu or you can restart your device.
So just skip to the settings. Make sure your Wi-Fi is still connected. And there you should see account added. And you're in. Now from there you can just perform another factory set from within the phone. So as you can see the security patch update was on September 2016. I didn't even know Samsung is still updating Lollipop when Nogat 7 is out. But I guess they want to keep their devices unhackable. Now I don't know how long this method will work. Sooner or later Samsung will patch this. Now if you like this video, please drop a like and subscribe for more videos like this and everything tech.